I just plucked my eyebrows. They still don't look good, but it's okay. Anyway, this is take two. Hey guys, it's Kay Cherie, and today I'll be showing you how to accomplish this snake skin makeup. So if you're interested, keep watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Starting off, I'm just going to be brushing the eyebrows back. And then I'm going in with this Maybelline Eyebrow Powder in a dark brown shade. Then I'm going to be taking my angle brush by Morphe. And I'll be applying the Neutrogena Healthy Skin 3-in-1 Eye Concealer. And I'll just be using that to clean up the eyebrow. Now I'm going to be taking the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation in the shade 2.0 and I'll be applying that all over her face with the Beauty Blender and I'll just be evenly blending it out. Going in with this brown shade, I'll be applying that all over the lid I built up the color a little bit, but I was hesitant about making it too dark, so I was very careful about how much I put on the brush, and I tried to blend it out a little bit so it wouldn't be that dark. Then I took my LA Girl Pro Concealer and wipe, and I cut the crease, and then I just applied a gold eyeshadow where I cut the crease to give the eye more of a shimmer.
Going in with this blue shade, I applied it all over the lid. The blue is very pigmented, but I also didn't want it too dull, so I had to build it up. But when I got it where I wanted it, I took my LA Girl Pro Concealer in white and I just cut the crease. And after I cut the crease, I took some silver eyeshadow and just applied it to half of the lid. And then I smoked it out with a blue at the outer corner. Going in with my NYX white eyeliner, I'll be carefully applying it along her lash line. This eyeliner does dry quick and it also cracks. That's the downfall about this. So if you know of any good white eyeliners that don't crack, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Going in with the Morphe Bronzer in the shade Blogger, I'll be applying that to half of her forehead and her cheekbone. Then I'll be going in with my NYX Epic Ink Liner and carefully applying that along her lash line. I do not care for this eyeliner due to the fact that it's very liquidy and it smudges very quickly. So if you have any recommendations or know of any good black non-liquidy eyeliners, leave them in the comment section below. the eyeshadow at the bottom I'll be using the same colors as I did at the top so I'll be applying the silver shade first and then I'll go in with the blue and try to blend it together then for the other eye I'll be using the gold first and then I'll go in with a brown and try to blend that together as well Now it's time to apply the fishnet. So when you apply the fishnet, you want to be very careful that you don't mess up any of the work you have already done. So with this, you also want to keep it in the same place once you start applying the makeup. So right here, I'll just be taking a brown eyeshadow, pressing it into the fishnet to make sure it's completely on the skin. And I'll be going over it a couple times just to build it up. So once that's finished, I'll be taking a gold pigment and I'll be putting it on a couple places over the brown just so it can give it a bit of a shimmer.
Now moving on to this side, I'll just be taking a white face paint and I'll be applying it the same way as I did on the other side, just with a sponge. And instead of gold glitter, I'm going to use a silver glitter. And I'm going to use my finger for the glitter just due to the fact that it worked better for me instead of using a brush. And that's a wrap. Here's the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I had a lot of fun doing this look. The snakes were something new for me. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys in my next video.